today we're going to be dealing with highs in the 60s. So the 60s come back in style today, but don't get used to it because tomorrow we're going to be making a run in the lower 70s. Yes, you heard that correctly. So this morning we're waking up uh, to a milder note. Most of us across the board are sitting anywhere from 6 to 16 degrees milder this morning. Looking out towards Western Maryland, 39 degrees is the current temperature in Frostburg, a little bit milder in Ellicott City at 44 and 40 degrees for my friends in Severn. So the kids will still need the jacket this morning as they head outside. We are waking up to a few more clouds out there, which is helping us to start off milder this morning. So right around 8 o'clock, temperatures will be around the mid 40s, mid to upper 40s by 9 to 10 o'clock this morning. Heading into the afternoon, the 60s come back in style. I'm forecasting a high temperature today of 63 degrees at BWI. We're not going to see as much sunshine as yesterday, but we do keep conditions primarily rain free. This morning, a few pop up sprinkles are possible, but most locations will stay rain free this morning. Also into the afternoon, keeping winds out of the south around 8 to 16 miles per hour. Right now, radar is picking up on some of that drizzle out there out towards uh, Cumberland, but this latest radar loop shows that the bulk of this moisture is starting to dwindle as it travels eastward. But there could be some scattered sprinkles around southern Maryland and even around Anne Arundel County uh, through sunrise. Taking a look at what we can expect this afternoon and evening, just dealing with abundant cloud cover. Winds out of the south once again help us warm up into the low to even mid 60s today. Overnight, a disturbance slides through, so this could actually spark up a few showers here and there north of the city, especially near the Mason Dixon line after midnight tonight. And then we deal with some a break in that rain activity up until around eight to nine o'clock tomorrow morning as we will be set up in this warm sector. So in between a warm front and a cold front, this will spark up another wave of rain that will linger throughout the afternoon and also into the evening. As that cold front dips in from northwest to southeast Thursday night into Friday, not only will we be seeing that chance for some rain becoming more moderate at times even heavier in nature across isolated areas, but we could also see or actually hear a few rumbles of thunder associated with this front. It tracks down to the south, so that chance for showers lingers not only into Friday, but also into the start of the upcoming weekend. So rainfall totals from Thursday to Saturday could add up to about an inch to an inch and a half when it's all said and done. Your 7 day forecast 73 degrees for tomorrow, about 10 degrees warmer than what it will be today, and that's really actually what we experience early to mid May. So we're going to be feeling more spring like and then temperatures take a dip throughout the day on Friday in the wake of that cold front low to mid 60s this weekend drier with more sunshine on Sunday and then rain chances return early next week. Back to you. All right, uh, CB, thank you.